everybody welcome back to hollywood sports guys what we're going to talk about right now is ratings man we're going to talk about ratings but before i get into this guys i want you to know my previous video if you didn't see it it was called franchise immersive environments that link is down below in the description so if you if you didn't see that video right after you're done with this video you can click on the link down below go watch my previous video called franchise immersive environments but guys like right now let's talk about ratings let's talk about player ratings man the devs are talking about this mad would be the, the will, will ratings make an impact on the game will be the best ratings game madden ever in all the mads you've ever played this madden would be the will, ratings will really make an impact in any other madden let me tell you why it's because of archetypes, baby. We talking archetypes. Man, archetypes right now is a game changer, baby. Archetypes is gonna make the difference in this game. When we talk about ratings, it, it gave you an example. It says, let's say you have a new run block finesse and a pass block finesse rating, okay? This is a finesse lineman. You got a finesse lineman. He's finessing his run block. He's finessing his pass block, okay? Now, also, well, before I go forward, now you have a finesse lineman, okay? Now, your defense, we're talking about your defense now. When you go up against another team, Green Bay, Redskins, Cowboys, Pittsburgh Steelers, the, uh, uh, the New England Patriots, their offensive lineman may be power, right? Their offensive line may be power or finesse. So it changes the way, it changes the trenches, guys. It's gonna create, it's gonna create movement in the trenches because you don't know what you're going up against on that other team. When you Let's say you're going up against the Green Bay Packers. You don't know what kind of lineman they got. You don't know if they got power lineman or finesse lineman. Guys, this is going to change the game depending on what team we play. Because normally, left guards play the same. If I had my left guard on Washington, he probably played like the left guard on the Cowboys. Right? They had a better blocking or rating or whatever, but they mainly played the same way. Their footwork was the same way. They pulled out the same way. They pass blocked the same way. You see what I'm saying? So when you have a different type of lineman, you have a finesse lineman that runs finesse and he pass block finesses. Okay? Ratings will be featured in agile linemen. Agile linemen are be, be going to be finesse. Okay? Then you have a power lineman. A power lineman um, has a new run block power or pass block power ratings right the power guys they're not going to be finessed they're not going to be agile they just want to open those big old holes those big old holes like you, you can drive a truck through right those are your power linemen guys so again if you have a defense you don't know if your defense is going against a power lineman or finesse lineman so it's going to change every time we play a different team which means practice mode when we go into our training mode it's gonna matter it is really going to matter okay now that's if it's in the game plan i don't know how it's going to work as far as game plan i wish we could take our practice squad and develop and 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 put those type of traits on our practice squad then we can practice against that power lineman or that finesse lineman and see what kind of results we get but anyway i'm getting off track guys because this is so exciting but you see the different type of lineman you have a finesse lineman and a power lineman now this is it's going to change your games when it comes to player ratings guys now let's go over a few of them as you can see i got them on the screen guys break tackle determines broken tackle success for a ball carrier versus a standard tackle now i guess they're saying it's not going to work on hit stick or cut stick but you see break tackles determines broken tackle success and every player is going to be different if these ratings play out if these archetypes play out then you have a break sack okay your quarterback how he breaks sacks determines whether the quarterback will escape a sack inside the pocket now we saw them do that in madden 18 sometimes the quarterback kind of got away from the sack he broke the broke the sack tackle but these are gonna really matter so they, but see in madden 18 all the quarterbacks did exactly the same thing they, they, they did the same thing but with these archetypes every quarterback's gonna be different they're rating as far as breaking a sack throw under pressure 
Every quarterback is going to be different. Determines passing accuracy when throwing under pressure. So now we don't have to say every quarterback to say now our third string quarterback or our second string quarterback, obviously their numbers are going to be lower, right? So they're going to be more impacted when it comes to throwing under pressure. Guys, this is going to be awesome. This is going to, you know, you're going to have to have a deep depth chart because sometimes people are going to get hurt, right? People are going to get hurt. Now you got to you got to develop depth on your team and i love it because of these archetypes then we have run block power run block power determines success a chance for drive down and power double team blocks on plays like toss and power o run power run block power determines the, the success chance for drive down and power double team blocks on plays like toss and power O. So if you like to do a lot of tosses, man, this is what it's saying. You gotta have a run block power. Then it has a run block finesse that we talked about earlier about our alignment. Determine success chance for zone. So that must be talking about zone blocking, reach blocking, and zone double team blocks on plays like outside zone and stretches. Oh, 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 oh. so man if you if you like to run those type of plays you can get your 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 your, your lineman to do that which is a run block finesse guy you want him to get out on those zone blocks and those reach blocks right and those uh it's saying on those out zone those stretch plays now lead block lead block determines success chance for blockers leading from the backfield or pulling from the line <laughs> Woo, hey man, we can we can we can we can we can we can really build our line. We can real really build our line play, guys, on our blocking schemes. This is all about blocking schemes right here, man. We can get our guys on the right blocking schemes. This is awesome, man. We really can become an expert GM as far as putting our teams together. This is franchise mode, guys. This is franchise mode. Okay. Uh, pass block power used versus defensive power moves. So if you got a, let's say you got a, a Ryan Kerrigan on the Redskins, right? Playing that that left that left outside linebacker spot. See, then you would have a pass block power. He would be able to most likely be able to handle Ryan Kerrigan. You see what I'm saying? Pass block power used versus defensive power moves and ryan kerrigan has some defensive power moves so you need that right tackle or that left tackle to have that power i mean to have that pass block power guys we're gonna have to know these archetypes we're gonna have to know these archetypes when we're drafting we're gonna have to know what type of archetype we're looking for when we're drafting or when we're trading or when we when we're picking up free agents we need to know the archetype we're looking for and then go find that player. This is awesome. This is awesome. Now you just can't go off of overall. Overall is important, but if you got a high overall and he don't have the right archetype you're looking for, he ain't going to stop Ryan Kerrigan if he don't have that pass block finesse. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. I mean the pass block power. The pass block finesse use versus defensive finesse moves again ryan kerrigan has finesse moves so if your right tackle going to be because kerrigan's on the left side right so if your right tackle don't have that pass block finesse he ain't going to be able to handle that finesse moves by ryan kerrigan so you say you might have that right tackle with that 95 overall but he ain't no pass block finesse he ain't got that pass block finesse archetype ryan kerrigan go kick his butt every single time all right Guys, this is awesome. Then we go down to the medium route running. Medium route running. Used when running medium routes. Of course, we know this is for the wide receivers. Now, you we can match that up with the type of playbooks we have. If you know you have the medium routes on a certain pass plays that you have, right? You want to put those guys that's going to be running those short routes, those crossing routes, um, those slant routes, right? those guys gonna be on the uh, short running routes if their numbers are great they have that archetype they're gonna run some nice running short running routes because guys we're gonna have to go through progressions what I saw EA play you got to go through progressions guys you got to go through progressions now I'm gonna tell you this I, I forgot to tell you this that there is a pass rush in Madden 19 
there's gonna be a pass rush at my night scene. With all this archetype stuff, guys. Come on, man. Come on, man. Okay, then we have a, a, a medium route runner and a deep route runner, guys. Those are archetypes. Those are all offensive archetypes. Man, you can run your offense, guys. You can run your offense. Okay, guys. Man, this is awesome. This is going to create different gameplay. Um, you don't have to play every team the same. You, ain't, you can't play every team the same. Every team has their own weapons. Every team has their own archetype ratings. Every team has their own power lineman, finesse lineman, right? Then you go down to the halfback and the receivers, the quarterback. Everything's different. We're going to have to strategize our depth charts when we play different teams. But it's going to be tough because we don't know what we're going up against. We don't know what type of linemen they got. We don't know what type of halfbacks we got. Now, we could probably go into the depth chart ahead of time. We can say, okay, we know the Patriots got Tom Brady. So let's go look at Tom Brady's archetype. What kind of defensive guys do I need to set up for this game plan, right? You can develop game plans based on who you're going up against, guys. This is awesome. This is awesome. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, man. I hope you enjoyed this video, man. I'm telling you. If this stuff works, man, it's going to change the way we play Madden. It's going to change how we compete in Madden. It's going to change how we strategize, how we practice. We got to know our plays, guys. We got to know our plays. This is where the guys that prepare, preparation, man. We're talking about preparation now. Before, you really didn't have to prep. You didn't have to do preparation, right? We got to prepare. We got to really build our teams now, guys. We really got to build our teams through drafting, through trades, through free agency, and through the draft. And it's all about ratings and archetypes. All right, guys, I'll, I can just go on forever. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, guys. If you're new to the channel, you don't want to miss this stuff, man. Hit that subscribe button. Join the team of Hollywood Sports. And, man, we can do it together. And remember, guys, if you didn't see my last video where we talked about immersive environments, that link is down below, guys. Go check it out. All right. And as always, until next time, everybody, thanks for watching. And hopefully, I will see everybody that's watching this video on my next video. Thanks for watching. I love